I have seen this chalice before when I was very young. Ah, oh, there's Eliana. Hello everyone and welcome back to Pillars of the Earth. My name is of course Constantine and we are back uh, just about to enter chapter 17. Uh, in the previous episode we got back home and we are going to start rebuilding Kingsbridge all together. Alright, let's accept this and carry on. Let's continue the adventure. Chapter 17 The storm. Eleven fifty four. Eleven years later. Oh. It had been three years. Three oh, years. Oh, look at this. We've drought. built a freaking wall. Three years of hunger and poverty. Oh, my God. England was brought to its knees. Only our walls had kept us safe from the bands of outlaws raiding towns and villages. Bishop Whaleran and William Hamley forced the workers to finish their cathedral in Shiring. Many had died. The work on our own cathedral had almost come to a halt. For weeks the storm had raged on. It was then that our cathedral gave up its last secret. Oh crap, is it crumbling again? Come on. And everything changed. Holy crap, what's with the storm? Tom, I don't think you would have liked the sight of this. Hmm. I don't think you would have liked the sight of this at all. I know, you did not plan the cathedral to be that high. I reinforced the walls, I can sand any. The storm shouldn't be that much of a problem. But if it's not the storm, then what is it? The east wall is about to collapse, why? What could be the cause? Oh, so this uh, wall here is about to go down, unfortunately. What the crap? Um, okay, let's grab the tools. Hammer and sizzle. Oh, crap. Seriously? Oh, no. Uh, the roof beams. looks alright. Hmm. Vaulting, what is this? The vaulting is cracked. I wonder what the crap is happening here. Mm, no, I don't want to break more stones loose. Hmm. All right, then maybe we need to go down. Do -do -do. Leave the roof. No, I'm not done here. Yes. Oh. Okay, never mind. Apparently, we do not need to leave the roof. Uh, let's try to use the hammer and chisel then on the vaulting <sighs> here. If I make it worse, then we'll at least uh. know what the problem is. All right. Oh crap! I missed. Ah. Be easier without this sand everywhere. <laughs> It's really interesting how we are back where we first destroyed the church. All when right. we where we burned it. One more time. Uh-huh, so we need to chisel it some more, I guess. Damn. Come on. Oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> I love it how Jack 
is a little bit older Damn now. <laughs> Concentrate. I can hear it in his voice. He's got a uh, stronger tone in his voice. Uh, he is more of an adult if now. If the vaulting were unstable, this part would have collapsed and the wall would retract. Huh. The cause of the problem is not up here. Tom. What would you have done now? <sighs> Interesting. When we erected the Eastern Wall 17 years ago, there was also a crack. Yes. No matter what we did, it always came back. But this is not the same wall we rebuilt it. But the cause could have been the same in both cases. Oh, you know what? There must be... yeah, in the crypt. Yeah, that's for sure. The problem is from all the way down below in the crypt. That's why it keeps crypt. cracking. Exactly. Uh, yes, Tom. You kept the whole foundation there as it was. Yeah, that's but the never problem. Had to carry this much weight before. Crap. That's it. The problem must be down there. All right, let's see if we can fix it then. Hurry up, though. I don't want the they freaking church to uh, crumble again. Bishop Henry thinks that the Pope should hear about what you wrote. I think so, too. I would be honored if he read my book. Philip, I really am worried about you. There is no need for you to worry, Jonathan. It is just a book. The problem is that the people love your sermons. And what you wrote, even though most of them can't read. Your book is being copied in priories all over England. Is that not a good thing, if our message gives people hope? In desperate times, hope can be a powerful force. That is very true. Well, I fear the bishops. They might come to believe you took that power from them. Huh. Do you? Interesting. Uh, Philip's second book, The Divine Soul. Oh, let's uh, let's have a read here. I'm really curious to see what he wrote. Uh, the Divine Soul, book written by Philip in 1148. In this text, Philip suggests that we all carry a godly spark within us because God created man. And while sometimes it may seem as if God has abandoned us, God is indeed always closer to us than anything else, because our soul is of a divine nature. This means that man does not have to wait for salvation from the outside, but that we all can change the world around us ourselves. We can plant a seed and God in turn will make it grow. Philip's message of hope is heard in all of England and even other parts of Europe. But the church is highly critical of the text. In his first book, Philip had only criticized fake miracles. Now he seems to claim that as all men are equally divine, members of the clergy are not closer to God's glory than any other man. Hmm. Uh, this may bring Philip some issues from the Pope, maybe from um. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, we can control him now. Oh, look at the tree that uh, Jonathan and Philip uh, planted years ago. It's grown now. John Jonathan's tree, still braving the storm, steadfast. <laughs> Jack! Oh, there have we go. you been atop the cathedral during the storm? Don't worry. Mm, yes, we Philip. have. The storm isn't as bad up there. You shouldn't be up there risking your life, you should be with your children. Sally and Tommy have been asking for their parents all morning. Oh, wait a minute. They have made a, a daughter. What? Alina and Jack's family. Nice. Uh, let's inspect this. Let's see what we have here. Jack and Alina's family, 1154. After their promise to Walren to keep Kingsbridge protected, Richard and Jack have spent much time fortifying the town. Since then, William Hamley has not dared to attack the town again. Aliena, who has continued her wall business, 
trades mostly outside of Shiring. Most of the fleece she is trading is produced in Kingsbridge, where Jack erected two felting mills. Elena and Jack have two children now. Tommy is already 12 years old. His little sister Sally is 9. Martha looks after both of them while Jack and Elena are working. Some believe that Martha and Richard are in love, but if that is true, they are keeping their secret well guarded. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. I love it. Okay, the let's storm on. is tearing our east wall apart. If the storm works, I work. Jonathan, did you and the others come directly from Winchester? Yes, we did. What about Aliena? She stayed a day longer for the fleece fair. She should be on her way back now. In this storm? Hmm. We didn't expect it to get worse. I don't like this. No one did. Alina may be sure in trouble be here. I need to go. I think I know why the East Wall is unstable. Yes? Why is that? I'm not sure, but I, I think the answer lies down in the crypt. I should hurry before it's too late. Hmm. Alright, let's uh let's go then, but um I have a feeling we may meet the old man that greet us when we uh burn down the cathedral. Let's uh let's just head on down and see what's happening here. Oh crap, look at it cracking. That's not good at all. Um oh look at the relic. So good. Rashid was right. People love to believe in miracles. <laughs> the reason most people come to Kingsbridge now is for Philip's sermons. He tells them what they need to hear. He gives them hope. Alright. The statue Rashid gave me will draw as many people here as Adolphus did. If it weren't for the drop and the storm. Okay, let's uh, check the crack on the wall here. Hmm. What the crap? What can that we do? definitely wasn't here before. Yep. The cause of the instability must be down here. Hmm. But um, how can we fix it though? Maybe use the chisel on the crack? I don't like this though. This uh, doesn't look good. Here we go! Oh crap. Oh, we missed. Come on, Jack. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, please tell me we're not gonna go in there. I don't want the entire church to uh, crumble on us. Oh, it's a freaking safe secret These passage. Stones, they, Seriously? They've been removed before. Whoever put them back just added some mortar on top of the stones hmm. to hide the fact that they were removed. The tile at the bottom was completely loose. What does that mean? I think it was an entrance. An entrance? But an entrance to what? To where? That's what we'll find out. Oh. Careful now. You've got the whole east wall on top of you. Oh. Jack? Jack? Oh, what the crap was right. that? I just hit my head. <laughs> oh, right, right. There's a whole room here. A, a chamber. I'll get a torch. Whoa. Philip, I'll get it. You stay here. We may need to put some supports inside this chamber here in order to uh, to support the wall. But I don't like this. A wooden cup and a coffin. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is where St. Adolphus is. Let's grab that. That's not wood. It's yep. metal. Yep. Uh, maybe we can light it up. Hammer and chisel, we'll use that with no, the chalice. I don't want to bring Bring a spark? No? Okay, never mind. Uh, is, is that a, a coffin? Yes, it is. Oh, there's sand everywhere. Hmm. Huh? It's a, a bed. What? There's a bed in here. What? Crap. 
Jonathan, we need that torch. Hmm. Why is there a bed in here, though? What the crap? Who slept here? I have no idea. Can we use the chisel no. on the bed? I think we found the cause of our problem already. Hmm. Interesting. Sand everywhere. Parts of the room must have collapsed. Made part of the wall, the wall unstable. Uh, well, it doesn't look like there's maybe anything Philip else that we can. Yeah, let's go back. Maybe chat with. Actually, we cannot go back. What the crap? What is in that chamber? Uh, let's see. Anything else we can interact with other than the sand, the bed? Oh, wait a minute. There's a brush here. It's it's made of leather. It's oh, it's a whip. What, what? is that doing here? I have the torch. All right. Oh my God! Is here. this a torture chamber? Should be safe. Did you know about this place? No. No, I did not. I have seen this chalice before, when I was very young. It's the chalice of the Eucharist from Kingsbridge Cathedral. Hmm. The chalice they say my father stole. Oh, okay, now everything makes sense. They were hiding it so that they can accuse um his father. What the crap? Cuthbert told me about it. They said it was stolen. And melted down, I know. Mother told me. I have a feeling this is the work they of Remedius. They said it was my father who did it. Did they? So he's innocent then? He must be. And whoever hid the chalice is responsible for his death. They hanged him in Shiring. For stealing this chalice. It was here all along. That scourge. The whip. It belonged to Prior James. I was afraid of it when I first visited Kingsbridge with Francis and Abbot Peter. Even the look of it scared me. James. Maybe it was him. I think I saw him. During the night of the fire in the cathedral. When the old cathedral burned down, there was a man in the fire. His shoulders were bloody, as if he had chastised himself. It is you! Oh. By God and the devil! He so told me that he had changed. He had done something to me. Perhaps because I looked like my father. So he confessed for framing your father while he hid the cup here. But it couldn't have been James, you saw. James died weeks before the fire. Did he? You said they never found his body. Maybe he hid down here. Maybe that's why the bed's here. Wait. Jack, you were in the burning cathedral. What were you doing there? Oh my god. Are we gonna confess that we burned it down? Do not confess to burning down the cathedral. Confess to burning down the cathedral. Let's confess. I... And then I told Philip what I had done. Wow. He just looked at me. I didn't say anything. Prior James Scourge. Oh my god, everything makes sense now, but the the story is so strange and so sad. I, either way, I gotta say, I freaking love this. This is the best point and click adventure game I've played so far. It's absolutely amazing. Of course, it's different than the previous one we played because this is a more serious one, telling us a, uh, a real story rather than the, the other ones that are more of a comical, um, satirical uh, adventure games. Anyway, uh, let's carry on here and inspect this. 
prior James Court found by Philip 1154. As a child, Philip was afraid of prior James Court. He first saw it when he and Abbot Peter, the man who raised him and Francis after their parents were killed, visited Kingsbridge. Years later, James decided that Philip, now a young man, should get the chance to lead his own priory cell, St. John in the Forest. Every time Philip visited the mother house in Kingsbridge, he always remembered the day he first saw the scourge. Abbot Peter did not like the idea that pain could lead to salvation, but prior James believed that chastising oneself was the only way to cleanse the soul from the sinful implications of the flesh. After Jack told Philip that he believed prior James was alive the day the cathedral burned down, Philip remembered that only weeks before the chore did not dare to sing because they thought they heard some chastising himself in the crypt. Maybe they really did hear James. Maybe James did hid in the secret room in the crypt. But why? I actually wonder that as well. Why the heck would he... What the heck would he do that? Anyway, meanwhile, in Earl's castle... <clears throat> wow... <laughs> Wait. Look at William getting fat. What do you want? Do you think it is wise to resign yourself to gluttony at times like these? While your people starve on the streets of Shiring? Don't play the saint. You promise them miracles. And you make them pay. But your miracles never work out, do they? God works in ways that we cannot comprehend. My mother cannot walk. You failed. Again. What do you want? I came about a book. The Bible, again. No. Philip of Gwyneth wrote it. Hmm. And the church is displeased. Bishop Henry was enraged. This is our chance, William. Your chance, you mean. If you need forces, talk to Walter or Ugly. I don't care. Wow. I built your fucking cathedral. I'm done. It's not just about Philip. It's about Aliena and her family. Don't mention that name. But have you not heard? King Stephen and Maud's son just signed a peace treaty. I don't care. You should care. I said I don't. Now leave and don't come back unless I ask for you. <laughs> Where's my wife? They've not returned yet, Lord William. Then get me a whore! Now! Wow, William is such an asshole, as per usual. Holy crap. Alright, the end of the war. Huh. So it finally ended. The war finally ended, apparently. Um, the end of the war and the treaty, and the treaty of uh, Wallingford. After over 15 years of civil war, the battle between Stephen and Maud, England was more divided than ever. After final confrontation at Wellingford, Empress Maud's son Henry II and Stephen arranged the truce. The treaty was later signed in Winchester. According to the treaty, Stephen will remain king until his death and then be succeeded by Henry II. The treaty further states that all decisions regarding land which were made during Stephen's reign are immediately reverted and restored to the time of King Henry I. This means that the earldom of Shiring again belongs to the heirs of uh, Bartholomew and not to Hemley. But who will dare to go against William Hemley? Huh. So apparently... Eliana and Richard can now take the throne back. They can take back their uh, their castle. But the problem is, they need force in order to get past the forces, I guess, right? Huh, anyway, let's carry on here and see uh, what's gonna happen next.
at the same time, far away... Oh, there's Eliana. I think she's trying to get back to Kingsbridge. But, what the crap, she's on her own? Seriously? Oh crap, what are you doing here? Damn, this storm is crazy. Coin for the roads. Okay, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Oh, there's a house here. Okay, maybe we can uh, find shelter inside. It's so weird how Elena is... Uh, simply walking on her own. I mean, in times like that... In times like back then, you could uh, easily get uh, murdered. Oh, what the crap? Enter the hut. Ah, we made it. Hmm. I am sorry for intruding, but I must ask you for shelter. I was on my way from the Fleece Fair in Winchester to Kingsbridge and got caught in the storm. Nasty, isn't it? Yes. A and it's getting worse and worse. Mm. Thank you for your hospitality. I don't like the people in here. They don't look really, uh, hospital. Someone! Help me! What the crap? Huh. Did that sound Please, came from outside? Hmm. Let's go check it out. Uh, what? Where the heck is she? Oh. Hello? There she is. Oh, oh dear, are you hurt? <laughs> My horse, it fell. I, I, I can't move. Take my hand. We'll get you inside. Hmm. But we'll only be here until it's safe to leave. We won't bother you. Alright. Hopefully we are gonna be all good inside uh, inside that house. I don't like I'm the way Elena. they're looking at us though. What's your name? Elizabeth. Breathe, Elizabeth. You're safe now. I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. I don't like the look on uh, these guys' faces. Shake up. Huh. Seriously? What the crap? Oh my god, this douchebag has a knife. I don't like this. She's Old avoiding woman? eye contact. Hmm. So they're afraid of us. But why? Peasants. Let's try to talk with them. I hope the storm spares your homes and fields. If only we had that much left. Mm. We still have our lives. And our dignity. You still have yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I don't like these guys at all. What the crap? Hold your horses. We'll see what happens. Oh crap. Okay, can we talk with this dude? You should get out of this place as soon as you can. Be assured, I will leave as soon as the storm ceases. Uh, maybe we should take that advice and... Um, <laughs> get the heck out of here. Anyway, let's have a chat with Elizabeth. It's getting so smoky-like, I don't know why. Uh, talk to her immediately, find something to warm her. Oh crap. Seriously? Oh, we don't have father. much, but always enough for a lost soul. 
She doesn't deserve anything. Take a bowl and go ahead. Ah, oh, the old woman allowed us. Um, I think she's freezing. Blankets. Take the blanket. What are you gonna do with that? I'm just going to borrow it. Let's try to get along until the storm passes. Wow, I don't like this. What the crap? Yeah, try to be kinder to us. We didn't do nothing to you. Wow. Okay, let's grab some uh, some soup, I guess. All right. Shush. Let her eat. Uh, thank you. Damn. These guys don't like us at all. Come on. Help us a little bit. Thank you. Hey, that's our blanket. Can't you see she's freezing? It's all right. It's just a blanket. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, find her something to eat. Talk to her immediately. Find her something to eat. Uh, we do have something to eat for her. So let's give her the. Oh no! Go back. Let's give her the uh, bowl of soup. Eat this. You must be hungry. Thank you. That's nice of you. Why are you giving her soup? Dirt. That's what she deserves for dinner. What? Do you want her to starve? Please, don't start a fight. Oh, you're so kind. Many people would have let me die. People don't listen to me. My entourage didn't even notice they lost me. Who? My husband and his entourage. Oh, a fine husband you have. I divorced my last one for less than that. Divorced? Oh, he's just been beside himself ever since his mother. Maybe now you'll understand what loss feels like. And what you people are doing to us. Stop bullying her! Can't you see she's upset? Kiff. How do they know you? This isn't right. Oh, I'm used to it. I guess that's how it is when your husband holds an office like that. He has to do a lot of things people don't like. And sometimes they recognize me, too. Wait, Wait a minute. Is she William's wife? No freaking way. Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? I thought you knew. Wow. William Hanley. Oh, please don't abandon me too. I swear, I'm not... I, I, I can't... Why did you marry him? What's he like now? I have a feeling she's been forced. She didn't have a choice. When I was a girl. Really? Why did you marry him? My parents arranged it. And it was an honor to be picked. What's he like now? I loathe him with all my heart. How do you know him? Uh, be blunt. Yep, yeah, be blunt. He wanted to marry me when I was your age. Apparently he likes young girls, no matter how old he gets. You too were supposed to marry him. How come you didn't? He was a beast. So I refused. You refused him? It caused a lot of misery. Poor girl, she oh, doesn't even know so that courageous. that was an option. I wish I was like you. I, I can't even stand up to the servants. 
Don't act like you didn't have a hand in the downfall of this land. For years he roamed across the country to raid, rape and kill. I'm sorry. He's no Earl. After all he's taken from us, we should take something from him too. <gasps> she has nothing to do with this. Don't you dare touch her. Can't you see? She's another one of his victims. <gasps> I'll give over. She's in on it too. Can you even imagine how it must be to be a child married to Hamley? The abuse and the humiliation every single day. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I I'm crying because you know too. Enough to know your pain. I just, I just don't know what to do anymore. Tom, where the hell am I supposed to tether this horse? <gasps> oh crap. It's Walter. He's looking for me. Oh no. Oh, give her the dagger. Give advice. Come with me to Kingsbridge. Yeah, yeah, let's say this. Come with me to Kingsbridge. People will take care of you there. That should do it. Oh crap, he's gonna come in. Oh Walter. no. You. I've not seen you in a long time. William would be very pleased if I brought him your head. No! Hmm. Don't harm her. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. She saved me from the storm. Did she now? Come on, we have to get back to the castle. We've lost too much time already. Uh, the girl says with me, do nothing. I won't let her go back. Let's go with this. Elizabeth stays with me. We may need to fight him here, but um, no, she I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Thank you for saving me and protecting me from these people. Come on now, we need to get going. William is waiting. Ah, crap. I don't think we had a choice there. William's wife. All right. Uh, let's see. About William's wife. Note from Eliana, 1154. Was it my rejection that bitter William to the prospect of marriage for the years that followed? Was I the reason he married so late? After I met Elizabeth, I later found out that she was the daughter of Harold of Weymouth, a wealthy knight and a supporter of Stephen. Elizabeth was only 14 at the time of the wedding. Bishop Welleran wed them in the Cathedral of Sharing and everyone of importance was invited to the large feast. Elizabeth is a gentle girl who probably felt honored to be chosen to become the Earl's wife. I dare not imagine how William treated her. One more reason to finally put an end to all this. Yeah, that's, um, that's a great way to put it. Uh, William is definitely a monster. And again, I cannot wait the day we will be uh, able to uh, execute him, cut off his head, remove him from this uh, godforsaken world. Alright, let's carry on. Oh, okay, never mind. Apparently we are done with chapter 17 as well. Hopefully in the next episode the, the storm will pass and we will be able to continue with the progress in Kingsbridge. And maybe we will start um, setting a plan on how to take back the earldom. Alright, well, anyway, uh, we'll have to end up the episode here for now. And uh, when we come back in the next episode, we will continue with chapter 18. Okay, as usual guys, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!